Hi there, this is Caroline Heidi, the product manager at Dino. I'm going to show you how to create, enforce, and modify a blocking plan. Click Start Monitoring. After your thumbnails load, click Modify Blocking. In the blocking view, you can choose between an allow only and a block only plan. I'm going to start with an allow only plan. Name your blocking plan to save it for later. Enter the websites you want your students to be able to access. Next, enter the applications you want your students to access. To ensure Dino is filtering on all browsers, enter Web Browsers in the Applications field. Click Enforce when you're ready to apply your blocking plan. The Activity Tracker shows us that some students' sites have already been blocked. I'm opening Big View so you can see what students' screens look like when they're blocked from a site. The activity tracker shows that the blocking plan is redirecting students to on-topic sites. You can see that Luke and Caroline are now on weather.gov. Manually refreshing the thumbnail shows that all students are on allowed sites. I allowed Pinterest so that my students could get inspiration for their weather projects. However, when I open Big View, I can see that Thomas is looking at off-topic material. Now I'm going to show you how to take Pinterest out of your allow-only plan. Click Modify Blocking and simply remove Pinterest.com from your website list. When you're ready, click Enforce. Choose whether you'd like to make this a permanent or one-time change. Thomas is now on Weather.com, a relevant site that will help him complete his project. Don't forget to click End Monitoring when your class ends. This will remove the blocking plan from your students' devices. If you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out using the end product chat feature. Thanks for watching.